Welcome to Behind the Lines. I'm Graham Knight. This past week saw the 41st playing of the Secretary's Cup in New London, Connecticut, as Merchant Marine and Coast Guard went head-to-head -head in their yearly rivalry matchup. We're going to devote most of our program to this annual tradition, but before we do, let's take a look at the other Academy football games played this week. And we start with Air Force. After their heartbreaking overtime loss in the Commander's Classic to Army, the Air Force Falcons turned their attention to the Mountain West Conference opponent still on the schedule. First up, the battle for the Ram Falcon Trophy against Colorado State. It was a combination of players and a historic pass play that propelled the Falcons to a 35-21 win. On its first possession, Air Force marched down the field in just five plays, set up by junior receiver turned tailback DeAndre Hughes' 56-yard run and capped off by the first carry of the year for sophomore John Lee Eldridge III, a 16-yard touchdown dash to put the Falcons up by seven. Following a Trey Bug interception of CSU quarterback Todd Centeno, the Falcons were back at it. This time an eight-yard drive ending in a Brad Roberts six-yard touchdown run, the first of two on the night for Roberts to make it 14-zip Falcons. But Colorado State was not about to be shut out of this game and came charging back with a minute left in the first to make it 14-7. And then history was made. After a pair of penalties forced Air Force to start the next drive at their own eight-yard line, quarterback Hazik Daniels unleashed a pass to Brandon Lewis along the near sideline, who streaked for 56 yards after the catch, 92 yards in all for the longest touchdown pass in Falcon history. And Air Force was up 21-7 to end the first quarter. I caught the ball and I saw the safety chasing me, and I just said, I have to go, I just, so I just went. I knew he was going to take it. Um, you know, I, I trust Brandon. You know, we give a lot of guys crap if they get caught, so I had faith that he wasn't going to get caught. Daniels also holds the record for the longest run in Air Force history, a 94-yard dash to the house against Florida Atlantic earlier this year. The Falcons put up 212 yards of offense in the first quarter alone. But by halftime, CSU had cut the lead to 21-14. But the second half belonged to the Falcons. We were fortunate enough to have a couple of big plays, but it really wasn't until about the middle of the third quarter where you felt like, okay, we're, we're starting to establish some stuff, and that's a credit to our guys up front, too. Air Force held the ball for nearly 23 minutes in the second half, limiting the Rams to just three possessions and only one scoring drive. DeAndre Hughes ended the day with over 100 yards, and Roberts ended the game with 151 yards on the ground, becoming only the fifth Air Force fullback to break through the 1,000-yard mark an achievement that hasn't been matched since 1989 when Rodney Lewis put up over 1,000 yards. And to top it off, Roberts is just nine yards away from breaking Lewis's record for the most yards rushing in a season. And just to put an exclamation point on Roberts' rushing game, at one stretch late in the CSU contest, Roberts ran on 10 of 11 plays in the final Air Force drive that ran out the clock. Props to the offensive line. I mean, they're getting a great push up front, and I'm just running behind them, trying to keep my feet moving and then just get those, those three, four-yard gains and keep the chains moving. After two games where Air Force failed to run for more than 200 yards, the Falcons put up 388 yards on the ground against CSU, still tops in FBS in rushing while gaining 508 total yards of offense. I think we had two games that we were under 200 yards rushing, and that's just not who we are. Then we want to take pride and become the Diesels. The win against Colorado State, the fifth straight in their matchup with the Rams, stops a two-game losing streak and guarantees Air Force a winning season. Next up for the Falcons, a Friday night clash featuring the prolific passing of Carson Strong and the Nevada Wolfpack. Strong is fourth in the nation in passing yards,